What's up? I'm Alex, your entrepreneur. If you're getting the cannot read property add event listener of null, that means that you're trying to call a property of an object that is equal to null. Okay? So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to press Command Option I to open up the console. And I'm going to press Command K to clear it. Okay? So if I have an object, so let's say I declare const obj equals even if it's a number, okay, and now I have the, the object obj, which is equal to the number one, and then I try to get the property add event listener, I'm gonna get a undefined. So as you can see, I do not get an exception. Uh, instead, what you're getting is the canary read property add event listener of null, which is actually an exception, and you will get it if you try and take a property from null. So if I type in null dot add event listener, you see that I get the exception. And I get exactly your exception. Now the reason why you're getting that is because you're trying to select a DOM element, an element inside of the document that is null. Okay? So let me show you. Let's say I type in document, for example, document dot add event listener. And obviously I would want to specify some stuff, but let's say I type it, as you can see it doesn't break. Because document, as you can see here, it's in shaded, it exists. Now, if I do document dot uh, query selector, and then maybe I select a div, I can still get an element. And if I attach uh, add event listener to it, as you can see, it's, it will still work. However, it, if I type some gibberish in here, such as um, echo iz blah blah blah, as you can see, if I press enter, I will get that exception. Okay. So if you're writing some code such as const button equals uh, document dot uh, query selector and then some gibberish that doesn't work and then button is undefined is null rather button is null and then you do button dot add event listener and you're getting that exception then that means that your element your button is null okay which means that it doesn't exist the selector there, there may be two reasons as to why this is happening. One reason is the one I showed you. The selector is wrong. So how do you debug that? You just copy your uh, command, you open your console on your own computer, and then you type it in, and you see whether it returns an element. If it doesn't return an element, then your selector is wrong. So change the selector until you get something. So in my case, I will change it to maybe, let's see, let's see if there's an element. Let's just call it div or span. Okay, and it will match something, okay? So that's what I will do. Uh, on the other hand, if your selector is correct, so if you open up your console and you actually get the selection and it works, then that means that most likely the code you're running is running uh, too early. You, uh, your code is being executed too early. So what you could do would be looking into options such as uh, uh, document.onload. You could set it uh, here in a function in document.onload. Or if you're using jQuery, you will do dollar sign document dot ready. Okay, so that way you're waiting for the um, element to exist. Uh, if you're using some sort of third-party script injector, you just want to make sure that you're adding your script in the footer rather than in the header. So instead of adding it to the head, to the top of the file, you can load it at the bottom of the file near the footer. So that way it, it should make it so that because uh, the, the, the document loading is uh, sequential, so it will make it so that your script is loaded after. Okay? So this way you saw what happens when you get this exception, can read property add event listener of null. If you get a similar exception, again, can read property uh, whatever of null, that means that the object that you're trying to add a key to is null. Okay? So you will want to check that the object exists. So let's say I have an object called, uh, again, uh, let's say family. And family is equal to, uh, let's say, uh, person x, me, and person y, <laughs> you. Okay, so let's say this is our, our family object. Okay, we are in a family now. And uh, I try and access the property uh, person uh, g. As you'll see, it gets undefined. However, if I mistype family with family dot person x, then I will get this because I will get family is not defined because the variable is not defined. 
So the only way in which I get canary property other than listener of null is that if that variable is equal to null. So I could type something like family equals null and then family dot uh, anything, literally, dot anything, will yield that similar error. Okay, so hopefully this solves it. If you have any other question, just type it in the comments. That said, I'm Alex, the entrepreneur. Have an awesome day.